In this fun little lesson, we'll be creating this gingerbread house with polymer clay and acrylic paint. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using three 60 gram blocks of Sienna polymer clay and one block of yellow polymer clay. We'll also be using some Chinese white in the satin range, a rigger brush, a dinner plate and some aluminium foil. We're using an easy clean palette to cut on, but a cutting mat could be used as well. To cut our clay, we'll be using a hobby knife. If you are not yet an adult, then we suggest you use a butter knife to cut your clay. The first step is to tint the sienna clay with the yellow clay, so that it looks a little bit more like the colour of gingerbread. Break the yellow into three equal parts and mix one part of yellow into a full block of sienna. Continue to knead the clay until it's soft. Follow this step with the other two blocks of clay. Once these are all mixed, combine them and roll the combined clay out until it is approximately six millimeters thick. The clay needs to be a square shape, so you may have to cut the round edges off and add them to the corners and roll the clay again. If you're not yet subscribed, then don't forget to do that because you get hints, tricks and lessons and they're all free and sent directly to your inbox. This is the accompanying template that can be found on our website. It's printed out to A4 sizing, cut out, then laid over the rolled clay and each part is cut out with the hobby knife. We can then cut in the windows in the front and side walls and then cut the opening for the door. To create a texture similar to that of gingerbread, we roll some alfoil into a ball and roll this over all of the surfaces. To assemble the house, first lay the rear part of the house on, then apply the sides and then the front. Gently press the walls together. With some of the leftover clay, we carefully cut a ginger man shape out and stand him up at the front of the house. To make some candy canes, we roll out some white and red clay into thin tubes and twist them together. 
Then cut them to size and press them gently against the house on either side of the door. We then placed our house into an oven preheated to 130 degrees Celsius. And that's 266 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's baked for 30 minutes. Once the house is all baked, allow it to cool and we can add the roof. We chamfered the top edge of the roof so the join is neat. We then place the house into the oven for a second baking, again for 30 minutes at the same heat setting. Remove it from the oven once it's baked and allow it to cool. We can then paint it. Squeeze out some Chinese white and paint our gingerbread man with a stripe on each arm and leg. Then pop on two eyes, a mouth, some buttons and that's a gingerbread man. We then painted a design onto the front of the house and then paint around all the windows. To create the look of icing that has been piped on, we cut the bottom part of the paint tube off and then snip a tiny part off the corner. We can then gently squeeze out the paint and lay it on in tile shapes. And voila! Well, thanks for watching. We hope you're inspired to create your own polymer clay gingerbread house. If you do, we'd love to see it. We'll see you next time. Keep on creating.